Mahindra and Mahindra has announced that aerospace uh, tie-up. Uh, let's listen in to what the management, uh, Mr. Himant Lutra, has to say in terms of details of that tie-up. Five, we acquired a company called Plexion Technologies. Um, as I've often said, Plexion Technologies has got more doctorates per square foot uh, of their space than anybody else that I know of. Uh, Plexion Technologies had done some seminal work for HAL for their combat helicopter. They've done some work for other aerospace companies. And between 2005 and 2006, Plexion Technologies worked with a company called Seabird in Australia. They modified the planes, they improved the aerodynamic design, they fabricated the planes, they assembled the planes and exported 24 planes which are flying in different parts of North Africa and the Middle East. <coughs> Because of the seminal work that had been done by um, Plexion Technologies, um, Plexion and Mahindra Engineering Services were invited by National Aeronautics Lab sometime in 2007 to jointly develop a plane for National Aeronautics Lab. Uh, this is the first instance of public-private partnership I think you are aware of the fact that National Aeronautics Lab uh, was also responsible for development of another plane and uh, some of them not so successful. So they came to Mahindra and the highly deal structure was together where they offered all their physical assets to us and we offered all of our engineers and we have now jointly developed a five-seater plane which as Kartik will just go through his presentation. Uh, it will show you how much work has been done. Um, testing is in the process. Prototypes are being done. In 2008, uh, you all heard about the fact that the government of India is placing large orders uh, for fighter aircraft, for transport aircraft, for helicopters. And we believe that the total size of this opportunity, um, or the orders that are likely to be placed on one of the OEMs in the world, is between 15 to 20 billion dollars. I think you are also aware that um, the government of India has placed an order on Boeing for something called the P-8 AVAX plane. AVAX is a surveillance plane. It is essentially a Boeing with plane with a big disc on top. Uh, the company that we are acquiring in Australia already supplies components to this. And the idea is that if the government has imposed a 30% offset clause, uh, which means that it obliges the winner of such bids to buy goods and services from India for something like 30%. Now, the present order is anticipated for P8 to be about $2 billion. The order for the fighter aircraft that India is negotiating is probably between 15 to $20 billion. And there are other transport aircrafts and so on that are being ordered. And that will take, we believe, the order size to about $25 billion. 30% of that is $7.5 billion. And this offset requirement has to be serviced in a period of 10 years. So the opportunity in aerospace components is as much as $750 million a year.